We're getting close to the Christmas season, and you know what? Mary gets all the press, doesn't she? What about Joseph? I want to give a little shout out to Joseph this morning in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. <clears throat> if you go to the first chapter of Matthew, um, it talks about where Joseph accepted Jesus as his son. You know, Joseph, God didn't go and just choose anybody to be the father of Jesus. Mary was very unique. Mary was a virgin that birthed Jesus. But there had to be a father. Joseph was a righteous man. He was not just somebody that God picked off the streets. Listen to what it says in the first chapter. It's talking about uh, in the 18th verse, it said, this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. What a way to start a marriage, right? Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law. He was faithful to God's word. He was a righteous man, and God selected him. Because of that, he didn't expose Mary to public disgrace, and he was going to just divorce her quietly. That could not have been easy for him, could it? Here's what happens next in verse 20. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Normally when an angel came to uh, bring a message to somebody, the first thing they would say was, don't be afraid. Because obviously if someone's exposed to an angel or if they're in some type of circumstance that would require an angel to come, they are fearful of that situation, an angel. But listen to this. This is where God cut through and knew the exact fear that Joseph was facing. And he knows your exact fear today. Whatever it is you're facing, God knows exactly what it is. And he wants to give you peace and comfort through that fear. Because what he said was, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Because what's conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will give him the name Jesus, because he'll save his children from their sins. He knew what Joseph's fear was. It was fear of potential humiliation or public disgrace or the idea of having to divorce his wife. And I would just like you to use God's word as your angel today. And let me close with this verse in Isaiah 41, the 10th verse. Hang on to this one today. So do not fear for I'm with you. Do not be dismayed for I'm your God. I'll strengthen you. I'll help you. I'll uphold you with my righteous right hand. Don't let fear overtake you today. God knows exactly where and what your fear is, and he will be there to help you. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.